fit. Either you're incredibly smart, or you kiss a whole lot of brass. Let me see if I have this right. According to you, the success of the entire airborne invasion is your small group of men? Yes, sir. Well, I have serious reservations. It's a gamble at best. Have you thought about your boys being stranded if the invasion is called off? It's a bad domino effect. If your men fail, the airborne invasion fails, and if that happens, it spells disaster for the men on the beach. Them and me. No more cocktail parties. I don't like the odds, but the order has come down. Your plan is a go. So make damn sure you pick the right men for the job. This isn't going to work. These are our guys from the 508. And these are the men transferring in from the 504. Then you've got this guy. Henry. Yeah, the boxer. And then they've got this... Rigopolis? Rigopolis. Rigopolis. From Massachusetts. A bit of a joker, from what I'm told. That's what they call themselves. Yeah, they're a street gang, not an infantry unit. They're supposed to just come in last minute and blend in with our boys? You gotta like Livingston, the Alabama kid, though. 178 parachute jumps already under his belt. 178. Can you believe that? His record's not what bothers me. It's a mindset. Who volunteers to test parachutes? What about you? You just got married. Your wife's expecting. If she knew what you volunteer for, she'd kill you. You're right. She would. This isn't going to work. Captain thinks it will. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you've met him. Now yeah, they should be on base any minute. Should be interesting. truckload of mouths to feed. Which one's Livingston? Which one is he? Well, it's not him. It's him. You know, as isolated as we were, it wasn't surprising that we started to sound like a sewing circle. Cut off fenced in, out of touch with everything except our Pathfinder team, which as of today has just doubled in size with a group of total strangers. A group of strangers who held our lives in their hands. Someone, somewhere, must have thought this was a good idea. Morning, ladies. Yeah, as of right then, I wasn't so sure. Well, ain't you a pretty looking bunch? Better than looking ugly as homemade soup. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got to be 10% smarter than what you're working on. Oh! Listen, I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want to waste mine. So I'll cut to the chase. We have a bet going for the invasion date. Two bucks gets you in the pool. Hey, let me give it a try. And now that you guys here, it doubles the pot. Two bucks to get you in. Two bucks. Two. Wait. 
Who said? Who said I wanted in? Two bucks. Who said? Uh, who, no, I never said I two wanted bucks. in. Well, it's too late to get two out bucks. now. No, I'm not in. I was you never in. Hey, no, how are you doing, man? Two bucks. Hey, it's great to see hey, you. This is my buddy Cicero. Yeah. We go way back. Yeah. Hey. Good. Nice to meet oh, you. Yeah. Up. Hell, Eddie Livingston's in. All right. Trot now. I think it can work. Providing they don't change the drop zone. Sir? Who's the trooper you want to see, Lieutenant? Hmm. Is uh, this one of yours? Maybe. Lieutenant? See you in the briefing. Now, it's been reported to me on more than one occasion that you've got 178 jumps under your belt. Research for airborne? You could call it that, sir. Now, 178. Does a body get hazard pay for 178 jumps? No, sir. Haven't you any fear? You do. But you're not going to tell me, right? All right, Private. I'll see you in the briefing. Yes, sir. I like him. You met the captain. No, I got his name. Well, Neil. Neil. Well, what do you think, Gene? Gene? I figure we better start going by first names. Nobody can tell who's in whose regiment. We got our boys. We got the boys from the 504, and now our CO's from the 505. Like a military gumbo. Kind of like gumbo. Yes, I'm still here. I know, Corporal, but I still haven't received any of the red and yellow. To my knowledge, sir, the planes are being marked with white Yes, I know the planes are being marked with black and white paint. I'm telling you, I additionally requested all the red and yellow paint you can find. Everything that you've got. I sent the... No, Corporal, don't put the phone on again. Corporal. Corporal. Corporal! Damn it! Mark my words. Someday someone's going to find a way to make you wait on the phone at the push of a button. For Pete's sake, I hope he fights better than he does. Corporal, I'm not interested in your mix-ups. I'm personally putting you in charge of getting me all the red and yellow paint you can get your grubby little hands on. Is that clear? That's classified. That's classified! Just give me the paint, Corporal. Make it top priority. Is that understood? Right away! Damn! Sir, I'm gonna need you to sign this. Would you, uh, like a cup? No, thank you. How's your team coming together? Just fine, sir. The mission's a go. But there's been a slight change in plans. Is there a problem? There are no problems, Neil. Only challenges.
Once you and your men have jumped, made it to the ground, you only got half an hour to locate and mark the drop zones for the coming invasion. And stay alive long enough to help guide them in. Let's cut to brass tacks. They shifted your drop zone over a mile and a half from the original location. Right here. That's the 91st German Infantry. Whose idea was that? They're going to be stirred up like a hornet's nest. There's no way around this one. I'm sorry, Neil. And the reports are correct. The 91st German Infantry are specialists in anti-parachute maneuvers. That is, that is a challenge. No, that's a problem. Look, Neil. We both know I can't guarantee the invasion will follow. Your Pathfinders could get left out there with their pants down. But if the invasion does follow, you must light those beacons and show us the way. Oh, good, you're here. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you when I get back. Not a good time? Depends. Have you been thinking of me? The strong silence, right? Yeah. I mean, no. No, I'm, I'm not the strong silent type. And yes, I have been thinking about you. Good. And you? Me? The table needs to be sat, actually. Uh, who are you talking to? I'm going to call the table. I'm going to take the table. Well, if I can be there in, in time for dinner, would you set a place for me? That's absurd. Well? Could you look at your phone, please? Neil, I, I really don't have time for this. Where's the place that you're talking to on the table? Well, the server is almost ready. Just answer the question. There is always a place for you. Now I have to go. Since when did you become a professor of aviation engineering? Hmm? <laughs> I would love some tea, darling. Thank you. Yes. How many engines does a Spitfire have? <laughs> yes. Well, they already yes. actually know better than fly so low. Aren't there all the prohibiting such things? The B-17 is the American fortress, my dear. I do not think that was a B-17. It has two engines. How many engines does a B-17 have? Four. Hmm. Who told you that? Well, you know, oh, don't I don't know to them as well. Oh, With all the military equipment and personnel on this island, it's a wonder we haven't begun to sink. Oh, that's oh, true. That's right. Very true. Yeah. I'd like some potatoes, please. Oh, I don't know. Just, 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 just the small ones, please. Oh, no. oh.
holding on to them for no reason. I only saw him smoke that one cigarette. He doesn't need them like I do. Come on. Got any smokes? Got light? Pick a date? I don't gamble. You know that. How about you, Gerard? Look, I don't know these guys from Adam. And I'm just not ready to hand over my wallet. But you are ready to hand over your life. You know I don't have a choice. What if you did? The Spartans never would have agreed to it. Sorry. Well, it's a riddle. And we're the ones that are forced to figure it out. True, but would you? All we need to do is stay focused, and I guarantee you, nature will take care of the rest. Nature? We aren't sitting at Walton Pond. Look, this isn't a discussion on theology, Thoreau, or Emerson, but one of sound logic and military strategy. Maybe it's neither. Maybe it's simply a question of mathematics and economics. Maybe we are the bottom of the barrel scraped together at the last minute, but at least we're in the barrel. A barrel of fish, a barrel of beer, a barrel of pickles. You know, you're going to fit right in with those guys. Well, I'll agree they're not very good conversationalists. I would rather jump with a combat-tested renegade, or whatever you want to call them, than a handful of men who haven't even seen combat. That's the hand they've been dealt. That's true. Well, everything happens for a reason. answer to your question. No, I wouldn't. But maybe someone knows something we don't. All right, guys. Free train in five. Hey. D-Day, Operation Overlord. Gentlemen, we jump tonight. I do, however, have some news. Due to the increased presence of the 91st German Infantry Division, command has seen fit to shift our drop zone, drop zone N, 1.5 miles inland, here. And as you can see, we're surrounded on two sides by flooded rivers, and on the third side, by the enemy. Also, intelligence reports tell us the 91st German Infantry Division is currently executing anti-parachute maneuvers, all to ensure we get a proper welcome and the finest in German hospitality. So we're going to have to move fast to get this job done. Lieutenant Weaver. This is the briefing area for drop zone in. If you don't belong in the briefing area for drop zone in, you need to find your respective drop zone briefing area. <laughs> All right, let's go over it again. Our job is to ensure that thousands of U.S. paratroopers land where they're supposed to. Without a system, our pilots will be pissing in the wind dropping our troops all over the French countryside. At that point, the airborne invasion will fail. The solution? You, the Pathfinders. Ahead of the entire invasion, we will be the first ones to set foot on French soil. And once we touch down, we have 30 minutes to complete the following. A, 
locate our drop zone. B, get it lit so that our pilots can see it. And C, have our Eureka transmitter up and operation. Now once transmitting, the Eureka will transmit to the airborne invasion planes. The planes have been equipped with the Rebecca receiver, directing them to us in the exact location where to drop our troops, thus beginning the invasion. It's Eureka to Rebecca, Eureka to Rebecca. And you men from the 508, your job is to ensure that the lights are set up and that the Eureka is up and operational. You men from the 504, your only objective is to keep them alive. Last, you guys know that this mission has been called off in the past and that there's no guarantees that, that won't happen again. So yes, this may be a one-way ticket. If it is, I'll just grow beards like Robinson Crusoe. We assemble at 1600 hours. Go back to your quarters, get your gear. I'll see you in the assembly area. Dismissed. Well, is it true? It sure as the day is long. Those 505th guys can't land within a few feet of each other. How? Hmm. They just jump bunch at the door. I would not go changing things around now. No. As long as I don't land in a tree, I'm happy. What are the chances of that happening? <laughs> I would take a tree over an open field any day. Landing in an open field is like being as naked as a newborn. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? Keep stuff in your pockets full, they're gonna burst at the seams. Look, you heard the lieutenant. We are not the hunters, fellas. We're the hunted. A 90% chance the invasion will get called off? We're going to be stranded out there with a group of guys who call themselves the Jokers? If I were you, I would pack more food. You honestly think you're going to get a chance to smoke all those? Smoke every cigarette in this tent. You might need these then. Thanks. My breath is fine. Your breath could knock a buzzard off a manure pile. <laughs> Remember Riggs. Keep the ladies, man. Speak of the devil. So, which you the Eureka operators? Why, you taking bets again? You? What about you? Nope. Gerard, Francis, Hamilton. That's not the instruction manual, is it? It comes with an instruction manual? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're staying down. We'll jump tomorrow. What? <sighs> Why not today? Fog. So much for the weather gods. Well, hell, Livingston, you pick the fifth, sixth, and seventh. I told you, I told you it was going to be sooner. You didn't tell me anything. I did. You don't listen. <laughs> True genius is showing through. <laughs> hey, thanks, pal. Huh. You know, you look just like our old CEO. Boy, the pranks we used to pull <laughs> on him. <laughs> Talk about devious. Our old CEO used to love fresh ground <laughs> pepper. <laughs> he used to have this fancy pepper grinder wherever he went. He used to stick it in his back pocket like a huge <laughs> log of wood, limping into the mess hall every day. Do you know how many dead flies you can find on an army grinder? <laughs> 
They're everywhere. They're on the floor. They're in the latrine. I got the whole platoon looking everywhere for these dead flies. I got more dead flies than I know what to do he with. He starts lining them up. I got my own battalion <laughs> of bugs. It's perfect. But for the perfect crime, you need three things. You need a motive. You need a weapon. But what we didn't have was the opportunity. Seems like every time we tried to strike, we'd pack up and move. He volunteers me to carry these bugs, these little bastards. <laughs> Finally, opportunity knocks. So, under the cover of darkness, we drop our army of dead flies <laughs> into his pepper grinder. <laughs> and every day it shout. We sit back and laugh every time we hear. <laughs> <laughs> looks of them. Makes you wonder if they know what's about to happen. Makes you wonder if calling off the jump the night before was all part of the plan. Okay, gentlemen, this one's for the history book. Quite high gets popula. Hey, Pickles. You know you spoke Latin. There's a lot you don't know about me. Maybe that was part of the overall plan, too. Which plane is he in? Yours. Don't worry, somebody's looking out for you. Birds of a feather. A man needs a little more than that, don't you think? It's not the size. Keep telling yourself that, Gerard. You dreamer. <laughs> I'm supposed to grab a rifle once I hit the ground. You can't jump with both a Eureka and a rifle. Then let's hope there's not many laying around. I just don't like the idea. It's the apprehension, not the act. I know all the guys with an M1. I just hate going to bed at night, wondering which one it's going to be. I wouldn't worry about it. It's mines and grenades till dawn. If you pick up mine, I'll be all right with it. I just don't like the idea. Well, if I find one, I'll pick it up for you, and I won't tell you where it came from. Come on, cigarette break's over. Come on, let's go. Let's get a move on. Hey, Pickles, don't forget your purse. Saddle. Surprise, Riggs is talking again. So we're flying into Sicily, right? We got the nail and blast us with flak. We're bouncing all over the place. The guys are sicker than dogs. Me, I'm gritting my teeth so hard, hoping like hell, and I'll puke my nuts up all over the floor. Then there was this guy, what was his name? Simmons. The guy's name was Simmons. <laughs> Simmons, that's right. So he's sitting right across me, and he's heaving so bad, but nothing's coming up. He's <laughs> Any minute he's gonna launch a load of puke right into Riggs' lap. <laughs> So Simmons just keeps on heaving. I'm waiting for him to spray puke all over everyone. But nothing's coming up. You should have seen the guy next to Simmons. <laughs> that guy next to Simmons, he's green the gills too. It's heads or tails. Who's going to puke first? But my money's on Simmons. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's got his hands cupped out. He's ready to catch whatever comes up. He's. I'm thinking, man, just don't throw up. But if Simmons keeps this up, I'm going to barf. I don't know how much more this I can take. Now, Simmons is ready to hurl. He's got his hands ready. But I just know we're bouncing around so much, there's no way he's going to stop. No possible it. way. Just as he barfs, a flak blast rocks us sideways, and a hand covering the mouth splits the bar. You're too strong. Now, once you go to the right... <laughs> right, right, right oh. the guy on the street shoots across, hits the guy right next to me. <laughs> the guy next to Simmons is not a happy camper. I mean, he's mad. <laughs> he's mad himself. He turns to Simmons and says, You mother <laughs> <laughs> I blow a lot of people right in Simmons' lap. <laughs> 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 
Simmons looks down and sees all the barf bits on his reserve <laughs> shoes. Now he's barely trying to scrape off the new look at him. What did he got him? Oh. It's like a worm on a... <laughs> Next thing you know, we get the red jump light, and we're hooked up, and we're ready to go. Oh, but Simmons is entirely... <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. Now he's right behind me. And he's about to heave it. <laughs> I'm open any minute. I'm going to get a second load of dinner right down my back. <laughs> Come on, turn, Pete. Get your rigs out of my pack, would you? <laughs> the light turns green. I shuffle the door. I'm out the door, but not a drop of puke on my jumpsuit. Not a drop. Hey, so what do you have for lunch? Wait, 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 wait. You, you got lunch? You bet I got lunch. Where did you get lunch? Get your hands off my bag. Massa? Get, get your hands off my bag. Every one of us has got to figure this out for themselves. For me, the moment I step my foot out that door, I accept the fact that I just died. For those three seconds, it's all in God's hands. But when I look up above me, and I see that big, beautiful canopy of silk, I'm a reborn man. Death and rebirth, every time I jump. So don't you worry yourself about it too much. I'll see you in France. Lord, I thank you for looking out for me. Give me strength, that I will not let these men down, and I will do my duty as a soldier. But if it is your will that I should be killed, please make it quick. Maybe a shot to the head. Chest wounds are nasty, but they don't last long. Please not a gut wound. It takes a long time for a man to die with a wound like that. But whatever you do, please make it quick. Lord, I don't want to be alone if it does happen. So if you can arrange that, Lord, I'd be very grateful. Your will be done. Amen. Now, I don't need to remind you that the success of this mission hinges solely on your ability to evade the enemy. Do not give away your position unless absolutely necessary. The Eureka transmitter and the lights are the only way our planes are going to see their drop zones. We've got a lot of men counting on us. Godspeed, gentlemen. We'll see you on the ground. Saddle up. Gear up, boys. We're going to Normandy. told this was the best time to put a call through. I'm sorry, Mum, but no calls are being accepted at this time. This happens from time to time. Not to worry. I'm sure all is well.
anyone's going to make it back, he will. Something for you. It's a German bandage. I don't want to take this. It smells funny anyway. I got it for you. I don't know where it's been. All right, I'll find a use for it. Let's go.
You lucky son of a bitch. Let's see if that luck doesn't rub off. Hey, pass him that light. Don't lose it. Don't break it. Don't sit on it. We only got one. You understand? All right, let's move out. We got a light to deliver. Flash! Try to get caught? Where's your transmitter? You ain't got one? We got a light, and we got to get it to that drop zone. Jesus! Go, 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 go! For God's sake, move! Move, move it, trooper! Go, 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 go! Trooper, why did I tell you about that bag? Hey, eyes front. Grenade! Get out of here! Grenade! Grenade! No! Get out of there! I'm surprised you used your cricket, too. Well, I would have. If I wasn't carrying your gift in my other hand. What'd you think it was, his wallet? The cricket is some brainchild of some college graduate. And look what he got this guy. Brainchild. You're nothing but a two-bit pickpocket. Do you hear any crickets?
Well, if you think I'm going to go through the whole night without once using the password, you're out of your mind. It has a purpose. <laughs> hey, hey. That's his. It's mine now. And it might have a purpose, but I'm not using it. Flash! Thunder. Damn it, Riggs! Is this it? Well, at least until morning. Come morning, I got a date. Yeah, if we make till then. Now, aren't you just a bright ray of sunshine? No time for chicken pecking, ladies. We got no time and a mile and a half to go. That's cute. I'll take the point. Riggs follows in the rear. Right where he likes it. I'm switching to a rooster. shooting at? Probably that idiot in a tree. Which tree? Which idiot? You have your Eureka. No. You have a light? Nope. You have your rifle. Nope. Damn it, Riggs, put him back in the tree. Get right on it, sir. I got my 45. Covering fire. Okay, come on, 
sister. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, sister. Let's go. Let's move. Clock's ticking. What's the holdup? Open field, sir. Wedge formation. Let's move. Lieutenant, how'd you do it? How'd you get through? Magic. Magic? Every time we try to get out, they outflank us and push us back here. Well, then move faster. Yeah, how did we get through? They let you through. They know you're here. Well, good. I don't like surprises. Where's the light team? Out of 58 men, this is what we know we have. Still no rifle? No. Hey, hey! Here they come, here they come! Hold your fire. Hold. Hold your fire. Stay down. Stay down. Hold. Hold. I said, hold your fire. <laughs> Somebody help him out. Hey, he shot. He's been. Doc, Doc. Come on, do something. Doc, Doc, get over here. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Pickles, right, Pickles look at me. Breathe. Look at me. Look at me. Breathe. Stay with me. Oh, man. Hang in there. Come on. Get up. Hang in there. Get up on us. Hang in there. Don't give up on me, buddy. Pickles, take this back. The only way out of this mess is straight through it. That means you, Lucky. I should stay. Oh, no, you're not. Don't worry, sir. I'll be fine. Get out of here. We'll see you in the morning. Will do. We're cutting through these woods. See you around. Hey, good luck. On me. I'll see you in the morning. Hey. Got something for you. See you around.
All right, boys. I'm coming. Ah! in Normandy. Heute wollen wir marschieren, einen neuen Marsch probieren. In dem schönen Westerwald, ja, da pfeift der Wind so kalt. In dem schönen Westerwald, ja, da pfeift der Wind. Hey, hat einer von euch mal eine Zigarette? Ich habe keine. Na komm, gib schon her. <lacht> Nur ein. Ach, danke, ihr dummen Schweine. Nichts als Ach, Ärger. Ich frag mal bloß wegen einer kleinen Zigarette. Oh, eine Kippe hier. Du schöne Westerwald. Ich gehe nicht ins Bonbon. Über einen pfeift der Wind. So kalt. Hier auf der kleinste Sonnenschein. Bringt tief ins Herz hinein. Nochmal. Heute wollen wir marschieren, einen neuen Marsch probieren, in dem schönen Westerwald. Okay, boys, other side of that hedgerow, and we're home free. <laughs> Check it out. Mm -mm. I'll go. Give him that light. Real estate is currently unavailable. Looks like we have to take the long way, boys. Move out on me.
Was machen wir? Ganz ruhig bleiben. There's a road just ahead. Rick takes point. Cicero falls in the rear. Let's move. Get down! I stay down. All right, go. Get moving. Cover his ass. Stay down. Cicero. He's got 20 seconds to show his face. We've got one Eureka and no light team. This is bad. All we need is one. The rest just baggage anyway. Besides, how do you know there's no light team? It don't matter if it's a trap. We got three minutes and only one chance to get that light across that field. One of us is going to get that light across that field. You got it? If he fumbles the ball, the closest man to him picks it up and brings it straight into that end zone. All right, waste formation. Weaver, you're up front. Let's move. On me. Double time. Steady, boys. Okay, go, I'm fine! 
Well, don't just stand there. Move! Cover fire. That's it. That's our drop zone. Hear that? All right. It's now or never. Go. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down. Go! Go, go, go! They're off course. Come on, navigator, what have you got? Captain, I've got absolutely nothing. Just hold your head. I know we're near it. Near it? We're over it. Find it soon, we're gonna have to go to division. Captain, just give him another minute. Give those boys a chance. A minute? You ain't got a minute!
thing, though. Captain, I've got him, I've got him. Turn 10 left, 10 degrees left right now. That's it. That's how you start a party. Flash! I've been dragging this thing around all night. <sighs> sure picked a nice spot for me. <sighs> Come on! Take it all night. Shut up. Alone? Well, I'm never alone. Well, we are! And we've been told to hold this position at all costs! That's just my luck. Well, that's a hopeless proposition, unless we can take out that mortar. Who's we? Mortar? Have a look. Son of a... Son of a... Uh, oh, Son of a bitch. You see it? 150 yards. Oh, great. Great time for my CO to leave. Where'd he go to? Get reinforcements. Hopefully more than you. Well, he's not gonna make it back in time for us. Why? How much time we have? Uh, and I'm not talking to get your men out of here. My men? Yeah. So listen, if anything happens to me, I want you to notify my outfit. Eddie Livingston. Item company, 504. You got it? Well, where the hell are you going? What's it look like you're going? You get shot! You're never gonna make it! Black! 
thunder. Sir? How are you, sir? Hey, I'm Tatum. Hell, only an act of God to take that joker off the map. With no after battle report and no written record of our mission, we all knew that we would slip through the fingers of history. Not as a pessimist, but as a realist, I tried piecing together both why and how this mission was able to work. And honestly, I couldn't then and I still can't put my finger on it. I guess maybe it's true that some things are just better left unsaid. Maybe it's true that one can't find logic in the human heart. Maybe logic has nothing to do with it at all. Well, that doesn't really matter. For me, I'm just, I'm just glad there was a missing piece to the puzzle. Something I wasn't counting on. Something I didn't even see. I'll call it what you will. I know what I call it. <laughs>